Dr. Chenny Den, Vice Chancellor, Emeritus Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, may I say how delighted we are uh, that you are here today for this outstanding second Eden Prize Conference in Europe. Uh, it's a great privilege for Jesus College that this meeting is happening again, uh, recognizing the major contribution that Dr. Chen Dan has made by having this vision of an activity focused in trying to really build the future of the world, um, recognizing that actually education is the key to that. Uh, I'd like to pay particular tribute uh, to you, sir, uh, because on the numbers of occasions that I have met with you, uh, I have not only been impressed by the dynamism and innovation of your own company, I was honored today, for example, to receive the outstanding book about how you use the internet to start creating a vehicle for new forms of charitable giving to generate wider well-being in a truly remarkable way but also have stood aside, as the Vice Chancellor said, into the topic of education and encouraged us to think about it in the widest sense of the word. Namely, actually, how is it going to allow the world to be and what is the world going to look like in 20, 40 years' time at a global level? How, in turn, does that mean that we should configure our educational activities to really enrich the lives of young people? so that not only can they face the world, but they can actually look forward to playing an important role in making it a better place. And your ability to look globally, to look outside normal, accepted ways, I think has been key to that. And at the heart of that has been the index which you're launching today, and for which I'm personally uh, most grateful. Thank you very much indeed. I'd also like to thank the Vice Chancellor for coming and speaking so eloquently about the wonderful work going on in the university. Um, but I'd also like to thank all of you for attending. Uh, it's been a great pleasure, particularly this year, to note how um, there are more are attending. They're coming from wider uh, parts uh, of the UK, uh, both geographically and in terms of engagement in education. And particularly, may I thank those of you who are more directly involved in the petitioning side of education to have come, because that is very much at the heart of any solution that we wish to find. As you may be aware, Jesus College, and I will not say much about this because we're delighted that Anna Vignoles, a Professor Anna Vignoles, a Professor of Education, will be, and a Fellow of this college, will be speaking much more eloquently in a few minutes' time. But we're delighted that education is a key focus of this college through our engagement with the, uh, <coughs> the fellows involved in the faculty, um, also uh, through some of the practitioner-based conferences, such as the one in the curriculum that Margaret White uh, led uh, later last year uh, as a result of the activities that her own school uh, has been involved in, which recently was made at UK Prep School of the Year. Um, Jesus College itself has had a long-standing history associated with education. Um, uh, we were originally a religious college for ladies, uh, uh, a nunnery based in the early 1100s. Uh, where they indeed developed actually a very interesting focus on learning. In many ways, I think they were extraordinary entrepreneurs. We think that less te than 10 ladies in the early 1130s raised all the money for all the buildings, many of which still stand, and they created what some would these days call a business model, if they were standing objectively, which was to last 350 years, which is pretty good going by most company standards these days, and which, at which point, <coughs> due to rather unfortunate circumstances, actually triggered by a fire, um, uh, which then led to reinvestment, which couldn't then allow things to extend, extend turned the uh, bishop to decide what to use the college next for. Um, and actually, initially, a school was the key, one of the reasons why the college still has a boys' choir. It dates back to the days of when it was chosen to be a school, at which point the Reformation came along and the focus was on training those to go into the religious orders that were then created and then laterally to go into higher education. But that focus on learning has lasted a very long time. 
And actually, one of the things that surprised me is actually how little has changed rather than how much. Um, and part, I think, of the key to education is establishing those underlying principles which are related to what people are and therefore at the heart of what they need to develop and know. And the reason for saying that ultimately, of course, is to congratulate our laureates, who I think have, are, have done extraordinary work in going to the heart of those questions. Larry, for your outstanding work in seeking the real evidence to know what is right and good and what we should do, I pay huge tribute to you. And then, Anand, for your amazing work on making that available to so many more people than I could have ever imagined a university might feasibly do. And I look forward to your work leading to not just millions, but hundreds of millions and billions, finding new forms of education in new ways in the years to come. Thank you very much indeed.